I had a personal training client who I trained three times a week for over 20 years, but she could never really achieve permanent weight loss. She would lose weight, but she'd always gain it right back. But then about three years ago, she figured it out. She lost 20 pounds and now she's kept it off for over three years. And she did it by doing three specific strategies. So in this video, let's go over the three exact things that she did to achieve permanent weight loss. Now, if you don't know who I am, if you're new to my channel, my name is Mike Cola. I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 30 years. I've helped thousands of people lose weight and just get into amazing shape. Let me give you a little history about my client. I started training her about 24, 25 years ago. She was in her early 30s. She was about 20, 25 pounds overweight. She really did like to work out, so that wasn't the issue. She would work out with me relatively hard two to three times a week. But whenever she lost weight, she would always gain it back. It was incredibly frustrating. It was also frustrating for me too, because I'm the trainer, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to motivate her. That was one of her primary goals. Besides improved health and just looking good, she wanted to lose the weight and permanently keep it off, okay? So let's talk about the three strategies that we used that finally resulted in permanent weight loss for her, okay? So one of the things we always talked about, and I would discuss this with her like every single personal training session. We talk about diet, we go over different strategies, but this is what I realized after working with her for like 20 years. The only time in the past when she would lose weight is when she had a big event coming up in the future. For example, let's say her son was having a bar mitzvah and she wanted to look good for this bar mitzvah. So she would be so strict with her diet. She's followed the, like, the, the exact diet I gave her. She would drop like 20 pounds. But then on the day of the actual bar mitzvah, and I'm like at the bar mitzvah, she would go off her diet, eat anything she wants during the bar mitzvah, and then she would just be totally off track for like six months, gain the 20 pounds, right back. And this was like a consistent pattern. If it wasn't a bar mitzvah, maybe she would lose weight for say her daughter's wedding. So what we decided to do after working with her for like 20 years is say, I felt that she always needed to be leveraged. She needed the motivation of a big event coming up. So we looked at her calendar and we always planned things. I would say, say three months in advance. For example, she would have like a, she would plan a big dinner party, say in 12 weeks, and then say she would buy an outfit that, like, that was two sizes smaller than she was. So she would be really motivated. Say she wanted to look really incredible at this dinner party. And it really motivated her. Plus, you know, she was a very busy woman, very, very successful woman. She always had a lot of events, a lot of things going on. So by really marking her calendar with these events, it really kept her on track and motivated. And the other thing we did, which she never did in the past, is that typically when she had an event like a bar mitzvah or a wedding or say a big dinner party that she wanted to look good for and she did eat well and lose the weight, she would go off her diet for that event. And that's what we stopped. That was a big, big plus. I told her, do not go off your diet on the day of this event. Psychologically, it's not a good thing. Like she would get all these results, then she would just binge eat, and then she would be off track. So I told her, do not go off your diet, stick to the diet during the event, and then we'll work in some cheat days later on. So that's the first strategy. This, so this is what I recommend to you. Right after you shut this video off, sit down with your calendar and look at events that are coming up over the year and try to have something every 12 weeks or so, where you want to look your absolute best for. Now, if you don't have a wedding coming up or something like that coming up, plan a dinner party, plan something. But you need an event, you need to be leveraged every 12 weeks so you can try stay on track. Now, the second strategy that we used is that we got rid of all the trigger foods in her diet. For example, she was a type of woman that if she had one cookie, she'd want to eat the whole box. If she had one potato chip, she'd want to eat the whole bag. If she had one pretzel, she'd want to eat the whole bag. 
So what we did is we sat down and we wrote down all her trigger foods. In the past, she would always say to me, you know, Mike, I don't want to live like that. I don't, you know, I can't imagine my life never eating my favorite junk type foods. Like she loved cookies. That was really her main thing, like a chocolate, good quality chocolate chip type cookies. But I have to say, you have to make the decision. This is a decision I guess maybe it took her 20 years to come to, that when it comes to trigger foods, you really have to eliminate them, I think, permanently from your diet. Especially if you're the type that just can't have one potato chip and you have to eat the whole bag, you just have to say to yourself, you're never ever going to eat potato chips again. And it took her 20 years, but she finally got to that point. So we listed out maybe, I think it was about eight or nine type trigger foods. And she really agreed that it's time to accept this and just to eliminate these foods permanently out of her diet. And I have to say, it really made a tremendous difference. It really helped her get that permanent weight loss. Now, the third and final strategy we came up with that made such a difference is she was the type of girl, type of woman who always had to have dessert after dinner. That was the thing she grew up like that. You know, it was just was like kind of a happy time in her life, you know, sitting with her family growing up, always having ice cream or cake or something after dinner. But once again, that's something that you just cannot do. Having dessert is something you would do like on your birthday, like something like that. You can't have dessert as part of a healthy eating plan. I've had clients, other clients say to me, you know, Mike, when I'm eating dinner, all I'm thinking about is having the dessert after dinner. That's not good. First of all, you're not going to enjoy the dinner. You're not going to enjoy the good quality whole food you should be eating. So we determined that she's not having dessert anymore. After dinner, if she wants to have maybe a little bit of cheese, maybe some hard cheese, nothing sweet, nothing sugary, no traditional type desserts. Desserts. I even think in her case, she would have like one glass of like dry red wine, a dry white wine, like a low calorie, low carbohydrate type wine instead of having dessert. And I have to say, it made such a tremendous difference. It really led her to losing 20 pounds and now she's kept that weight off for over three years. So let's quickly review. So you're gonna, after you shut this video, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take out your calendar, you're gonna mark a date 12 weeks from now that you wanna look amazing for, and that's gonna be your motivation to stick to your diet. And then once you get to that event, you're not gonna break your diet during that event. You're gonna think of maybe a couple days later where maybe you're gonna up your calories and maybe have a cheat type day. So now the second thing you're going to do is you're going to sit down, take 10, 15 minutes, and you're going to write down all your trigger foods, all the foods that when you eat them, you start binge eating. And unfortunately, you have to permanently eliminate these foods out of your diet. And the third and final thing you're going to do is that you're going to just, you're just going to take dessert out of your life on a regular basis. You can save dessert when you go into an amazing restaurant, maybe once a week, you know, on your birthday, on big occasions like a wedding when there's an amazing dessert or a dessert bar. But 95% of the time, dessert is not going to be part of your life. Now, if you want to learn about how to eat, like the style of eating that I like, I like a low carb, intermittent fasting type style of eating, check out this list of videos.